I was involved in, in campaigning actually through the press for the introduction of all Ireland County Chip Pines. They didn't exist until 1963. They were interprovincial travel stores from time to time. They were of most interest, they were terrific, they attracted huge crowds, but they didn't happen often enough. And uh, I felt all along that Arnaud had players capable of, of winning the an All Ireland title and a campaign for it. But eventually, uh, I had a meeting on uh, the Northern Branch with Burnley. It was in February 1963. There was a subsequent meeting then with the Southern uh, Branch, who was the, the main authority in Bold Common and Heron. And that was on Easter Sunday, 14th of April 1963. And at that decision, at that meeting, a decision was taken to commence All Ireland Senior Road Bowling Championships that year. And Ten clubs here in Armagh. We wouldn't be near as big as in Cork, and there's an awful lot more in Cork. But the ten clubs, one in Tyrone and, and the rest in Armagh. And, and we're here, obviously, in the Port Moore. This is Port Moore, yeah. Our good wee club has uh, been going a long time, and we've, we've been hosting all Ireland now. This last, this is the third term here, and they've done a real good job, a very good job. As you can see, it's well run, and everybody does a their bit down the do a good job. Mm -hmm. Oh, it certainly does, and the, there are volunteers, hard working committees, and for this particular weekend is the Portmore Club here in Blackwater Town. They have an excellent record of superb organisation, and I've seen an example here throughout the, the two championships that they've organised, finals that they've organised so far today, and this weekend similar. They make great preparation, they produce great programmes, great programmes for it, and they're a very forward looking uh, and progressive. Club, and they're an example to, to all the others that are ten clubs who do likewise. And as you say, so many volunteers out here today. Um, it's, with, with regard to yourself, I know you did play road bowls, you don't anymore. Um, and how, do you, how have you seen it change over the years? Have you getting more popular? Well, it has changed in several ways. Uh, one of them is that um, uh, whenever I was involved back in the uh, early 1960s, that's when the All Ireland Championships first uh, begun. The, we, we had the main roads available to us, the main artillery roads in Armagh, which was the main Armagh Moy Road, the main Armagh Denbrough via, via Napa, the main Armagh Monaghan Road, and the main Armagh Stadium Road. And there were major stores heading those, including the Ireland Senior Finals. We couldn't possibly uh, avail of those now. Traffic has just pushed us into alternative routes, and points that there are uh, suitable venues, it has been a disadvantage. And the other disadvantage is that lifestyles have changed so much. You know, road bowling is, and bullocks, as it was known in early days, it is a very much a traditional sport. Uh, it goes back for generations. And uh, people find that there's other events now that they find much more appealing and a more, much more affluent society. Uh, the only bonus for us for road bowling is that uh, there's a bit more gambling, I suppose, involved here in that area. The crack, I mean, the crack is mighty, mighty today, and the banter just even between the court and the Munster and Ulster team. Yeah, it has that special uh, aspect to it. Everyone else, well, like my neighbours and 
I went around Tor Cross. So yeah, no, it was England. But I'm finishing off the preparation um, yeah. in the run up to today. So what have you been doing like prepared for today? Um, besides getting injured, uh, yeah. <laughs> practically just you know normal throwing sea shots every twice a week maybe or whatever. But yeah, it wasn't too much preparation. Now, was there at any point in, in the game there where you thought that that's it? That I've lost it. But you can never think back. If you think back, you're out of it. Once you start thinking you're going to lose, you're going to lose it. Like, you have to keep the head up all the time. So, yeah. Yeah. Every night, sort of, a couple of nights a week, you know, I hear most nights throwing, throwing shots and trying different shots and throwing scores against other people and was throwing well in those and just didn't really show up today. Any words of advice now for our, our Ulster, your Ulster opponent, um, Aoife? Well, um, just keep playing, you know, like everyone, everyone has to lose, someone has to lose every sport, you know, so just keep playing, I think, the best advice I can give. Well, Aileen, I'm coming for you next year. <laughs> <laughs> so, Aileen, the, the juniors uh, competition is just underway and you're behind us. Um, all the way from Cork, you're the chairperson for the Cork Association for Rogue Owls. That's right. Um, it's just around 12 boys have just started now. We've had great success in the intermediate ladies, so we're looking for another win here at our, with the under 12 boys. Um, it's a great weekend. There will be seven All-Irelands here this weekend. Um, we have underage scores as well as the senior men, which will finish off on Sunday evening. So hopefully Cork will be coming out on the right side. Well, I can't believe you came all the way from Cork. Don't be proud there. The first, the first, the first game. Oh yeah, absolutely, and there always has been, you know, and great rivalry, but then great sportsmanship as well at the yeah. end of the day, you know, and all good friends, and you know, the friends that they make at this age, you know, especially the younger players, you know, they continue to meet them on an annual basis, and you know, they travel to Cork, we travel to Armagh, and then we meet again for a third and a fourth yeah. series of All Ireland's. We'll be heading to Drogheda in September, and then we have players that we meet as well. That's another All Ireland again in September. So that would be on in West <laughs> So looking forward to, you know, we've great competitions throughout the year. Well, obviously there's events with Road Bowls going on throughout the year, basically all over Ireland. Yes, uh, well not so much all over Ireland, but uh, they, uh, they used to do exhibition events in, in different counties. There's less of that nowadays. So it's, it's uh, Cork, mostly, and Armagh, and a little bit of Tyrone. Tyrone are always involved in most sporting activities. <laughs> so, and for uh, the people of Armagh, what, what kind of things are going on? Yeah, well, well the, 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 there are constant events in relation to road bowling and constant promotions. And they're excellent at fundraising for charities. So there's, there's much of that done as well. But it's, it's interesting, even uh, ourselves, we tend to be enlightened from time to time as well. Well, no, his aunt. His aunt over oh. there won. Yeah. Is she won. making herself known now? Yeah. <laughs> she won the All Ireland before. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you must be a very, very proud mum today. Oh, very, very proud. Good well, me. thanks for coming up and thanks for that, that great game there. Thank you. Come on, Jara! <laughs> How do you think the game's went so far today? Well, it's disappointing from an Armagh point of view. Yeah. Uh, both South Street champions have, have been beaten, uh, though they've been fairly competitive scores. <laughs> For the under 12 player to realise um, how big this is, but like, you know, to win an All Ireland at such a young age, um, they go down in history and they will always be remembered. So it's an absolutely fantastic achievement and great to be involved and great to be part of the sport. You know, because we like to introduce people to it because it's a sport that you can play all your life from like under 10, under 12, right through to into their 80s. We actually have vintage players. I think we had um, the entries this year was over 100 people in, in Cork.
for the vintage. Mm -hmm. So like that's huge, you know, and they're just as much determined to win the championship as, as our senior players are, you know, so. for on this week's Armagh County Masters from Blackwater Time. Don't forget you can catch up with us on Facebook